This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I wanted to do a simple video, a video that you can share with your friends and family members to show them the repetition that is being used on them, whether your parents, your family members, or whoever you want to share this with happen to be Christians or not. Hopefully this will give them some type of push in the back or slap in the face to what really is going on in this world. Now I'm going to show you clips of repetition being used. Okay. But there's something that you have to know first that everything is right in front of your face. You've just been trained not to see it. And I'm going to show you that God is real. Jesus Christ is our Lord and savior and the devil exists. The basics, right? That everybody should know and understand, but they've taken that and they've kind of, in a sense, twisted it. And by twisted, I mean, they're showing you all of this stuff, that this is a spiritual war between Jesus Christ and the devil. They're showing you this, but they're telling you at the same time that it's not real because they're using something known as humor and deflection. Humor is the easiest form of mind control that there is, right? That's why they have laugh boxes. That's why you see SNL doing these skits and then everybody laughing. It's to desensitize you from these things. Now, for those of you who are unaware of the occult and Satanists and who they really are, take your brain and just put it on pause for a second. Everything you've heard from Satanists themselves is not true. The Bible tells us this, that these people are nothing but liars, that Satan is a liar and a deceiver. All Satanists are practicing liars and practicing occultists, which mean they practice black magic. They practice demonic possession. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 11 through 12, or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. These people are an abomination to God who practice these things. The only people that practice these, you would think, are occultists. But people are being taught occult practices, okay? From things such as yoga to new age philosophies, which involve, you know, getting rocks and stones and sage and all of this stuff in your home, you're being indoctrinated with the, what the occult practices. But the main thing that you need to understand before you get down that hole and say, well, everything's connected is to understand that this is real, right? That God and the devil is real. We've been told that it's real. This is the way it's been from the beginning. And what they've done is they've watered down Christianity, Right, A hundred years ago, witches, Satanists would have been burned at the stake. Would other Christians have called them you know, bad Christians for doing that? No, probably not. They would have said, this is what we need to do to these people. They're destroying society. They're putting spells on all of us. They're casting demons and all that stuff. Right? But what they've done is they've created the evangelical movement. The evangelical movement is the movement that you see on TV every day from all of these preachers who get pushed down your throat from the 700 Club on. All of these people are nothing but products of a CIA system of teaching evangelicalism, right? And all of these guys are the same thing. What are they? They're cookie cutter. They preach prosperity. They preach all these things to make us look like lunatics, in a sense, and pushovers. So when people like me come along with a backbone and a spine, it scares the crap out of Christians, even ones who think that they're awake, because they're not used to somebody like me. They want the cookie cutter because they've been raised on the cookie cutter. And that is the whole purpose of the evangelical movement, to make us all lukewarm, to make us all pushovers, so that they can continue to build out this satanic temple that they're building. This Tower of Babel reborn. That is why. That's why you see so much division amongst Christians. Because most of them don't have a backbone. Most of them can dish it but can't take it. Most of them sit there and they go, oh, well, let them do what they want. Well, that's exactly what Satan wants. And that's why they've created this movement so that you react that way. Nowhere in the Bible does it, says, does it say, allow these people to do all of these things and do this stuff to children. Now, the one thing that you need to understand besides magic, you know, besides worshiping the devil, that the core of Satanism, what these people believe in practice, really revolves around the teachings of Aleister Crowley. 
And the core of that is pedophilia and cannibalism. Okay, they believe when they perform these rituals and these spells that this gives them the purest form of magic powers. Now, you will see Aleister Crowley from every stretch of Hollywood to the music industry, from T-shirts to quoting him to being on the cover of the Beatles album to Jimmy Page buying his home where he performed these pedophilia acts on children and these black magic rituals. He taught that the purest form of magic comes from that of a blood sacrifice, specifically of young boys, as well as sexual acts on these young boys, followed by cannibalism. Now, they've done everything they possibly can on the internet to try to scrub this type of information. Crowley enthusiasts come over and defend the guy. It's insane. But understand that. And that is why you'll see on TV, you'll hear them talk about pedophilia, the eating of human flesh, and then they'll talk about it almost like it's a joke. What they're doing is they're desensitizing you from this to prepare you to be a part of it they're making it like it's no big deal right if you're laughing at jokes about pedophiles then something's wrong with you but you might not even realize that you're laughing at some of these scenes that i'm going to show you the people in the audience are laughing at it and they might be going oh that's really really sick but in reality the brain perceives and hears the laughter and it's desensitized from the severity and the seriousness of the topic and that is the point of the late night talk show hosts who spin and deflect everything when stories come out and they're caught in lies, when we catch them in lies, like these fake events that occur all the time, or Saturday Night Live, or any of these shows. Now, remember, the basic form of all of this stuff is repetition. But the first thing to remember is that they will do anything and everything to mock Jesus Christ. They aren't going to mock any other religious figure, quote unquote, because there isn't any other religious figure, because Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and he is the only way to salvation. And their war is against him and us, his followers. So number one, what you'll see is talk of cannibalism, preparing people for cannibalism from Santa Clarita diet right down the line, right? Talking about eating the flesh, the flesh of young boys, eating placenta, right? A common theme, hearing about that, a common theme laughing and joking about pedophilia when there's nothing funny about it. A common theme, mocking Jesus Christ. Take a look at these skits and realize that right in front of your faces from the Kardashians with their black and white plates and black and white this and black and white coffee pots, their Masonic coffee pot, all this stuff right in front of your face to a guy from Silicon Valley who has a coffee mug that says, Hail Satan, and has the pentagrams on it, to admitting to being a Satanist. These are all passively done to program you. This is how your subconscious mind processes information. It sees this and picks it up. You might not see it on the surface level, right? Because you're not paying attention to it. Half the time people watch shows, they're barely paying attention to what's really going on. They zone out. That's why people fall asleep watching TV most of the time. But they are preparing you for this stuff, and they're desensitizing you through comedy, deflection, and repetition. So take a look at some of these clips and tell me in the comment section below that this isn't what's happening. From all this stuff to Disney with magic, 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 what more do people need to see to realize that this is really going on? What you want in a pancake is to have the consistency of young human flesh. It's spongy, it has yeah. life to it. You're with a guy with brightly colored undergarments, and you got soft human flesh in front of you. You're in a weird place. I'm looking forward to this. This is really, really going to be a great pancake. Personally, no. Santa. They say you can eat them. You do. My wife did that. No way. Oh! And it's supposed to be good two ways. One, help with postpartum, and also it's great for menopause. Oh, you guys could split it. Yeah, would you share with mom? I just nodded myself. There's cookbooks of different ways that you have you to cook it. Oh, I can't. This is just, this is such Why a beautiful you, dinner. I just lost my appetite. Why would you not take it? That's ridiculous. That's the question I want. You're going to eat the stuff that came out of the inside I of your body? I definitely want to eat it. Wow. No, that is the most.
most disgusting I'm thing I've so ever heard. Upset. Why? I think everyone's just being really weird and close minded. Except for Courtney. I mean, she gets it. I want to have a third child just to eat the placenta. Here we go. My life back. Hail Satan. Pied Piper sounds like a great place to work. Oh, yeah, it is. Pied Piper is the best, right? Oh, my God. Every day feels like I've died and gone to hell. I'm sorry? He's a Satanist, so it's good. Oh, fun. People like to tell me things. Those deep, dark, naughty little desires that are on their mind. And you're not marrying this human stain because you're actually in love with him, right? God, no. Oh, oh my. I can't believe I just said that. Must be something about his face. Hey, boss. Remember me? Can I have your autograph? Did I sell my soul to the devil? So the devil made you do it, did he? The alcohol and the drugs, the topless selfies. The choices are on you, my dear. Put yourself together. <laughs> Any witnesses? Lucifer Morningstar. Is that a uh, stage name? God given, I'm afraid. Why don't you tell me something? How does she end up doubting it? Interesting pitch. I will admit I've never heard a Christian oriented riff on dog sharing. But Christianity is borderline illegal in Northern California. Also, how would you scale? Well, we could expand from sharing dogs to other types of pets. Pot-bellied pigs, ferrets. I'm going to stop you right there. You do know that ferrets are illegal in the state of California, hmm? No. Well, then I suppose you also don't know that pot-bellied pigs have been wildly unfashionable since 2005. Only a pot-bellied pig is frowned upon almost as much as being a Christian. Thank you, gentlemen. Stop saying cunt. And I was kicked in the face by a horse. <laughs> oh, you anti-creepy. Oh, my Lord. Dad used to say if we were bad, we'd have to come live with you. Oh, oh right, right. Right, he was, because I am a monster and a bit of a pedophile. Okay. <laughs> Wish you were here. Thank you for coming. Here's Hi guys. Uh, <clears throat> I'm um, my name is Roy, and uh, I um, and for the most evil invention in the world contest, I invented a, uh, a child molesting robot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll, I'll speak up. Uh, it's a robot that is designed to molest children. And uh, I call it uh, Robo Chomo. Uh, you see, it's powered by solar rechargeable fuel cells and it costs pennies to manufacture. Uh, and it can theoretically uh, molest twice as many children as a human molester in, quite frankly, half the time. Um, so, uh, do I win the contest? Uh, it seems like I win. Seems like I win. Oh, oh my God! What's wrong? Well, you see, it's powered by solar rechargeable fuel cells. slightly different direction with the assignment. You built a mechanical sex predator! Yes, yes, yes. That's that's exactly right. This this guy gets it. You get it. Oh my god, no I don't. How how 
do you even build a child molesting robot? Well, that's a um, that's a great question. What you do is you start by building a regular robot, uh, then you molest it and hope that it continues to, uh, the cycle. Anyways, I just always think that it's good to talk about what you know. That's what that's what I did. I just talk about what I know, right? So I'm gonna um, start with um, dating younger men. <laughs> How about that? You guys think that's funny? Yeah. You think that's funny? Yeah, you do, don't you? Okay. Anyway, so it's true I date younger guys. Um, and I have my reasons, but I'm not going to go into them. Uh, so, but I did find myself very strangely the other day at breakfast with my son Rocco thinking, um, I haven't had a date in a couple of weeks. And I looked at my son without thinking and I said, um, do you have any friends you could introduce me to? <laughs> and um, I was like, like in between mouthfuls of pancakes. And I, he looked at me with shock and disgust and dismay and disdain. Things that, a lot of words that start with a D. Um, and then I was like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm just kidding. I have two children, and the thing that scares me the most is that they disappear. That's the, nothing that scares me most more than them disappearing. Uh, that's every parent's worst fear. Now, why do kids disappear sometimes? I think it's because somebody took them and had sex with them. And once you have sex with a kid, you, you got to toss them. Because people hate folks who have sex with kids more than pretty much anything. If you murder somebody, folks will find you a reason. Ah, you were upset. Uh, you hadn't, you, know, you didn't have, you were dehydrated, whatever. <laughs> so here's the thing. So if you have sex with a kid, you got to chuck them out. Because uh, if you, because if, if the kid tells anybody, you're, you're screwed. Um, so here's, I can't help thinking that if we could take down a few notches, the hatred for kid having sex people, uh, at least you get the kid back. That's what I'm trying to say. Is is that the, the guy could just call you? Hey, I just kid. You want me to bring him to soccer or drop him at your house? Um, does he, does he have any nut allergies? Because he just uh, he just ate some cashew butter. I know, listen, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I know that's hard to hear. I know that's hard to hear, but it's true. It Chris, what did you do with my videotapes? I had a whole system. I was trying to find a good movie to watch. I've never even heard of most of these. Jeffrey at the Park? Mikey's scoliosis exam? Nephew somersault compilation? Well, even if you never heard of them, I assume you heard of the alphabet. You want to explain to me how Sammy Popsicle comes before napping various? Jeez, I'm sorry. Well, can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys.